picked up our MetaQuest 3 headset on October 10. We tested it with some interactive 3D neighborhood plans we designed using Landminter, then exported to SketchUp with Enscape. In the past, Enscape support of MetaQuest 2 was disappointing, so the investment in the MetaQuest 3 was to see if the quality and performance issues were taken care of. Well, we can tell you that the quality and performance is pretty outstanding even when compared to our high-end Hewlett Packard Reverb headset. As far as comfort, it is the best yet with a very lightweight and super comfortable. What really sets the MetaQuest 3 apart is the mixed reality as when you leave the protected zone, you can see the surroundings and on the edge it is ghosted, so you can see both virtual world and real world. The handsets are smaller. It is shipped in a much smaller package, making it more transportable than previous models, which is important to us because we travel quite a bit. As far as hardware capability is concerned, with the MetaQuest versus the Oculus Rift and most other headsets which uses HDMI connector, the only option for communication is through the USB-C connector. Some of our computers are not directly connected to the NVIDIA graphics board through the USB-C, making them obsolete for VR with the MetaQuest 3. Because of this, we did have to order some new laptops. Also note that the MetaQuest 3 does not work well with the 3050 NVIDIA graphics card and requires a minimum of a 3060 or better. Again, the MetaQuest 3 is a major leap in price, quality, comfort and performance, which was sorely needed if VR is to become a new standard for viewing and judging land development proposals and for marketing of them.